So I had a late start this morning. It's about 11.20. Um, I just slept in a little bit because I was a little tired from the plane ride yesterday. And I'm heading out to Escambron. That's where the scuba diving lessons will be. So it's about a 30 minute walk. I'm just gonna grab some coffee and walk over there because I'm not really hungry now. So by the time I walk over there, I'll be um, hungry enough. So under my clothes, I have a bathing suit on. Um, so I just have a t-shirt and shorts. Let me back up, see if you guys can see. You can't really see, let me I'll just try to. Just have a t-shirt and regular shorts. And then underneath, like I said, I have my um, bathing suit on, so it'll make it easier. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, this is where I'm gonna take the beach. Because the water is very, it's not um, rough. It's beautiful, let me show you. And it's so clear. walking across this bridge look at the water it's so beautiful and I'm about 20 minutes away from my destination but it is beautiful here So I found the area where I'm gonna go snorkeling. I just met my instructor and I'm early, so she told me to walk around for a bit. So I think I found where we're gonna go in. So this is gonna be interesting for me because the last time I snorkeled was in Jamaica in the open ocean and that was terrifying for me. And that's what led me to take some swimming classes because I was so scared. Um, I'm still not good at swimming, but since this is a learning to snorkel course, hopefully, you know, she's able to really guide me and take it slow enough where I'm not terrified. So let's see, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Let me show you the area. So it looks like that's where we'll be going in. But there are people out snorkeling. It's a really nice day out today. It's about 85 degrees. The weather said it's going to rain, but it hasn't rained yet, so, yeah, that's where I'll be going in. I'm very excited. Look at the beautiful palm trees. It's gorgeous out here. This is called Escambron. Escambron Park. It's beautiful. non-swimmer you are in the right spot if you are a swimmer <laughs> raise your hand here if you are a comfortable swimmer in the water okay good to know uh joan you're supposed to raise it up high so i can see it i'm not <laughs> at all okay so raise your hand if you're a moderately comfortable swimmer like you think you know what you're doing out there like without breathing like I yeah, can go yes. under yeah. I could go okay. under. Yeah, okay. I can't do the top <laughs> on top. Yeah. Nope. That's what swimming swimming is. <laughs> Generally, I'm talking about on top of the water. So yeah, we need to breathe. That's why I didn't raise my hand the first time. <laughs> May suit. I got. I got. Yeah. <laughs> Close. Okay. So don't worry if you cannot, if you're not a swimmer, because I'm gonna the equipment that we use and the body positions that I'm gonna teach you, the techniques I'm gonna teach you are actually gonna turn you into snorkeler, which is a little bit different than swimming. Swimming, we move, we're constantly moving, we got that kinetic motion, we got momentum. And snorkeling, we're gonna stop to watch some stuff. <laughs>
So I finished with the scuba diving lesson. It was the most amazing it was the most amazing experience i've had in a while the instructor's name was haley she was the bomb amazing the ability to teach and guide someone in a way where they feel like they trust you because i'm not you know skilled at swimming so you know it's scary if you're thrown to a situation where you could potentially hurt yourself but to have somebody that is um, a great teacher and can take it slow enough where you can build confidence in yourself oh that was amazing that was all almost life changing I'll remember this day for the rest of my life and I saw fish and I saw turtles that was so amazing. My first time snorkeling was in Jamaica where they took you out on a catamaran um, and threw you in the ocean with the life jacket, but I didn't know how to swim. So I was so scared. So after that experience of me freaking out in the ocean, I decided to take swimming lessons, which helped a bit just to get over the fear of water. Um, so that prepared me for this experience where I wasn't freaking out in the water. So it was more about training myself to um, calm my nerves and also breathe through my mouth and relax, right? There's a lesson in that, learning how to relax and let go and just let the water take you. Hmm, I thank God for this experience. This has been awesome. So now I'm going to go try to get some food because it's Christmas Eve. Supposedly that's a really big holiday in Puerto Rico. And the restaurants are going to close. So talk soon. Mm -hmm. I'm at Casita Miramar. Christmas Eve, 2021.